What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a transition with any image in Vegas Pro 15. So on screen is Vegas Pro 15 and I have this clip here and then a thumbnail of my previous podcast. So you can see that's the two changes. Now just imagine they're two videos and you want to have a transition in between them. So instead of using the default ones built into Vegas, we can create our own using our own image. So of course it gives us more freedom of creativity. So for this I'm going to drag and drop on this image. As you can see, it's a guy in a spacesuit drinking some beer on the moon. And all I'm going to do is first of all make this smaller. Now you choose how long you want this clip to be, because this clip is going to decide how long the transition will be. But what you're then going to do is position this over the center of your uh, video tracks, like this. Now you don't have to line it up perfectly in the center, I just so happened that I've done it. Um, but the next thing you're then going to do is simply create some movement with this image in order for the transition to work. And for this we're going to be using the track motion you may not see it and if you don't come over to the three lines over here select that come to edit visible button set and where it says track motion make sure it has a tick next to it and then select ok and you'll just see it here so this is where we get into the transition what i'm first going to do you can see i've prevented the move in the y only meaning i can't move it up and down you can see so i'm then first going to move this off to the left and yes, it's going to be exposed. And I also recommend you have Sync Cursor checked. Then come across to the end, go back one keyframe, and then I'm simply just going to drag this off to the right, like this. And believe it or not, that's a transition done. So I'm going to play it through, just like that. So you can see, as it's shown this screen, it's this image is going to wipe over and the new image is going to come into play just like that super simple and it looks really clean now let's say you've added the transition but you want to change it uh, so it moves up or down so it's really simple to adjust come back to track motion just right click select restore box so now it's back in the center uncheck prevents movement in Y and then check prevents movement in X and then simply drag it up or down I'll put it at the bottom then the last frame, right click, restore. Again, it's back on screen. We can drag this up to follow the path because it's going to be starting at the bottom. Now, I X out of it, play it through again. Just like that. So with this transition, it allows you to be creative. Let's say you do some gaming or something. You can create a funny image or something related to the game. Uh, in a way to have as a transition but you can see it's really simple to do and it's super quick as well and then maybe add a transition uh, or some sort of sound effect maybe a whoosh or maybe just some noise or some sound effects that will go with what you're doing but that is it for this tutorial I hope this has been useful for you like I mentioned at the start if you'd like to request a tutorial then simply contact me via social media and then I'll be able to make it for you as soon as I can